Well, g'day everybody, and welcome to our first look at Helicopter Simulator. Now, Helicopter Simulator has only just come out. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's developed by a single person um, under the name of Line Studio and also published by Line Studio. Uh, to give you a little bit of a, a rundown, it's a, it's basically a, a helicopter simulator where you uh, run your own uh, you run your own helicopter business, uh, flying R22s. Now, um, I'll read out the Steam page for you about the game to become an ex an experienced helicopter pilot in Helicopter Simulator. Take on missions that will change your pilot skills in an open world. An experience for beginners and advanced players thanks to assistance based on the real physics of the helicopter, facilitating maneuvers such as hovering, takeoff and landing. Perform immersive first-person procedures, pre-flight checks, cargo loading, manage your hangar and helicopter fleet, maintain, customize and upgrade your helicopters, learn step-by-step -step how to control your helicopter through training missions, uh, capture images in action with the photo mode, uh, ultra realistic flight physics, highly detailed helicopter 3D models and animations, and visibility up to 10 kilometers in clear weather. All right, so um, I've been in and I've had a bit of a go of this, obviously. I needed to set up my controllers and stuff. I have set up uh, my X-52 um, to fly this. Um, I am using the twist on the X-52 for uh, rudder pedals and stuff like that. Um, so what I've what I've done is um, I've... There we go. Let's just validate that. Um, so what I've done basically is I've... Um, I've... Uh, done that setting up and stuff and I've had a bit of a a bit of a fiddle around with it uh, just to see what the game is about now I have found that um, uh, setting up your your controllers and stuff like that can be um, um, it's, it's not too bad it's not too bad yeah come on I know it's not too bad but um, basically uh, uh, the, the controls are very 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 touchy so um, very touchy indeed so we will see how we go. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to set this up for uh, to uh, drag it out. We're going to follow the uh, tutorials and stuff in this um, in this initial first look, so that you guys can get an idea of uh, of um, what is uh, what is happening and what is going on. So our objectives are up in the right hand side there. Let's uh, open these doors up. There we go. And as you can see, this is our. Uh, yep, no worries, we've got that. Um, so as you can see, this is our. Uh, this is our little helicopter base here. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm assuming things will be expanded and stuff like this. Now I have everything pretty well on ultra on this game, so um, so that should be pretty cool. Now this is how we. Uh, oh, this is how we actually uh, drag the helicopter out to the uh, from our shed. Uh, this area here that it's inside, it's inside the customization zone and uh, the customer, yeah, got that, got that. The customization zone is um, is where you actually change the uh, colors and stuff like that of your helicopter. So let's uh, wheel this baby out. Let's wheel it out onto the, uh, onto the helipad. We've got the center line there. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I thought it, I thought we would. Uh, I'm 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 big on flight sims. Um, I do love helicopters. I did get to a point where I was um, where I was flying uh, helicopters relatively well in uh, in flight sim in the previous flight sim um, FSX. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting to see a um, a dedicated helicopter simulator coming out and. Um, which is which is pretty cool actually so um there's i mean this is in the very very early acts um early stages of uh of, of um development at the moment so there isn't a whole lot in it but uh it's uh it's quite nice it's quite nice now i don't know whether or not um whether or not my speakers are working i do, do need to check that because i can't see any um where are we? There we go. That should be okay. That's probably a little bit better, guys. I apologize about that. 
Uh, all we can hear at the moment is birds anyway, so let's take these in here. Let's throw them all in here until uh, until next time as we might need them. So I'm just using the uh, left mouse button to, to click on these and to drop them and stuff. So we'll grab that. All right, so this uh, this initial uh, initial uh, stage of it will uh, teach you um, some procedures on the helicopter and stuff. So, um, all right, so this is our uh, computer over here, which is where we manage our business from. Um, and what we need to do, okay, so we've uh, we've just earned a hundred dollars for the end of that mission, which was uh, getting the helicopter out of the shed. Now you don't have to bring the helicopter in the shed all the time. It's only when you want to customize it. So, uh, which we will go through in a later um, in a later issue. So, uh, or a later a, a later um, episode. Uh, so pre-flight for the uh, for the R twenty two, we will start that. And as you can see, we have our objectives up there. So, uh, first thing that we will do is uh, we shall jump into the cockpit now you always fly um you always fly from the uh left hand side uh the right hand side sorry as the uh pilot in command or the pic as they would call it let's uh come on let's open that up there we go let's uh get in here so what we need to do is we need to set the battery to on now you can click your middle mouse button to zoom in should you uh should you wish um, so we just make sure that the uh, alternator light, the governor off and the oil lights are on, which they are. Uh, we shall set our strobe to on and uh, our landing lights should be set to uh, on as well and our navigation lights to on. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get out of the helicopter and do our, uh, do our pre-flight. Now there is an option in here guys to... Um, to skip all of this and to and to get basically to um to to get straight into it like um rather than uh cold and dark um actually starting um there we go we'll check those um just starting straight off the bat um with the helicopter running and stuff like that so if you don't want to if you want don't want to do that come on Let's uh, zoom in onto that maybe. It doesn't want to check that. It doesn't want to check those. Okay. Uh, let's uh, unzoom out there and uh, check those. As you can see, it doesn't really want to check those navigation lights. So let's go and uh, check the strobe. There we go. And... We'll check that one as well while we are here. Uh, open the hood. We shall open that and uh, open that one as well. Okay, so the MR temp indicator light to on, MR chip indicator light to on, um, TR chip and low fuel. So let's validate that. Let's zoom in. Turn these on. Check those. There we go, lovely. Okay, so uh, back into the helicopter again. Uh, set the battery to off. Uh, and, oh, where is it? The, there it is. Battery to off, strobes and, and the landing lights to off as well. Lovely. Okay, so now we need to get out again. Um, and uh, for those of you who have flown before, uh, I've flown fixed wing and stuff like that. But um, uh, all of these pre-flight checks you uh, you do actually have to go through. So uh, let's see. Let's uh, start by checking the uh, checking the tank. Let's uh, check the fuel here by draining a little. So what you would normally do is drain the fuel a little and uh, into a little vial and uh, check for any impurities or anything like that. So uh, side intake, which is here, we shall check that, check the engine. There we go, That's uh, that was the fan. Let's check the engine itself. Come on. 
check the engine. There we go. And uh, check the skid as well. Okay, so that's one side of the uh, of the helicopter that we have done. Let's uh, check the belts now. Uh, we will check the uh, static pit up, uh, the drive belts, and the main rotor gearbox, which is just up there. Well, actually, no, it's it's right in the back there. Sorry. Uh, let's get under there. Uh, don't do that. There we go. All right, a little bit fiddly, but not too bad. Uh, okay, so now what we need to do is check the uh, tail rotor gearbox, which is just over here. And a pilot would do this. Um, a pilot would do this uh, every single time um, he um, uh, he was going to start up the helicopter basically so let's uh, check the f check the cap let's check the uh, pit uh let's check the fuel no come on uh yep check that let's check the uh the side air intake hold that and check the engine uh we shall check the battery which is just sitting right here and we shall check the skids as well so there you go. Okay, front air intake is here. So we shall check that and make sure it's clear of obstructions and uh, close up the hood. Close that one and close that one. There you go. So that's the uh, that's the pre-flight check that you would normally do every time you start up the helicopter. Now it's up to you whether you um, whether you go that full hog every single time you uh you go out to fly the helicopter it depends on how much you want to immerse yourself in the simulator so we will validate that all right so that gives us uh that gives us the end of that mission all right the next mission should be uh the startup procedure so uh, uh, it's time to photograph the coast, Henry Muller. It's time to photograph the coast. You have to go to the Blue Angel Point to take pictures of the chapel from different angles. So if we start that, uh, then what we need to do now is go into our pre-flight checks. Now I do have assists on and stuff like that until I uh, until I sort out the temperamental. Uh, my my controllers are very very temperamental in this game, so I need to sort those out. So. Let's turn the fuel valve to on. Okay, set the cyclic function to uh, friction, sorry, to off and the uh, collective friction to off as well. Okay, and we shall validate that. Now what we need to do now is uh, we need to just take control of this for now and we need to check our controllers. So uh, a rudder, full travel, which we have, yes, there we go. Uh, cyclic full travel all the way forward, all the way back, all the way to the left, and all the way to the right. So that's checked. Uh, the collective, let's uh, move the collective all the way up to the top there. And I've set up sliders and uh, and stuff like that, as well as the throttle on my X52 um, to... Um, to control these so uh, let's go th let's go throttle full which is uh, okay all right collective at uh, minimum set cyclic friction to on uh, collective to on and cyclic to on as well now it is quite a uh, it is quite a uh, we'll check the brake the rotor brake is off at the moment uh, we shall check the circuit breakers it is quite a a, a good pre-flight so he's done an awesome job uh, the models themselves are um, we'll check that that is off yes it is we'll set the mixture to on um, he has done a brilliant job of uh, modeling these R20 this R22 so um, quite happy with that let's make sure that the avionics are off let's make sure that the landing lights are off that's check and that the clutch is off as well yep check so all you need to do is look over that uh, let's uh, check the altimeter so we will set the altimeter 
Uh, we will set the governor, which is right here, to on. And now there are keyboard shortcuts um, for this as well. So uh, let's give a throttle twist as required. And then close the throttle. Beautiful. Uh, set our battery to on, our strobe to on, so that uh, people are aware that they can't approach the helicopter now. And then we shall start up. 10 seconds maximum to start that up and there we go okay set our engine to 60% which is right there lovely that's just a little bit over and this is what I said as um, temper temperamental let's uh, set the clutch to on Okay, so the clutch is on the right-hand side. Uh, down on the bottom right-hand side, you will see E. That's your uh, that's your throttle. The uh, needle on the left there, and uh, the one on the right, which is this one here, is your clutch. So that shows your clutch. So uh, we will set the alternator to on. We will set the avionics to on. Make sure that our oil pressure is okay, which it is at the moment. That should get up to green once we um, once we start. So uh, we are waiting now. I'll just uh, increase the throttle a little bit again. There we go. So we can boost up that clutch. Sitting at 60. We're probably we're a bit over 60, but that's that's fine. That's the temperamentalness of the whole. Uh, of the whole throttle setup and stuff like that so hopefully uh, we will be able to create some sort of uh, uh, sensitivities and stuff like that so uh, our clutch is up full as you can see there it's in the green let's check the uh, circuits there let's uh, get our engine to 75 percent and uh, once the number of revolutions are stable return the ignition switch key to the left and uh, so basically what we need to do now is we meet, need to set that to left and right and back to both. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, uh, let's uh, set the carburetor heat. So we are, we are just checking this and you can see that gauge there. The temperature of the carburetor goes up, turn it off and the temperature should drop as well, which it does. Okay, now we shall lower the throttle to minimums. Everything's looking all right. Everything is in green. Let's uh, set those. Uh, now our engine to uh, 102%. So we shall move up to 102%. which should bring that into the green there which is right there okay so we will lift the uh, cyclic slightly and you will see in the vertical speed the, uh, the cyclic will come up as we lift it there we go it's coming up we don't want to lift it too hard at the moment there we go beautiful and this is where it's really really temperamental so we will get it up to engine throttle below 97% there we go beautiful collective at minimum engine to 102% and now it wants us to go to this position so what we do here is uh, we are all set to go everything is in the green down there 
So what we want to do now is we want to uh, bring our collective up and uh, as we do we need to counteract a little bit uh, the torque of the blades using a little bit of rudder so we also need to increase our throttle a little bit bring the collective up bring the throttle up As you can see, we are getting a warning because our throttle is not uh, is not up high enough. So there we go. We need to bring the throttle up into the green, and uh, we are off, guys. A little bit more collective, and as you bring the collective up, you need to also bring the uh, as you bring the collective up, you ne you need to also bring the throttle up. Uh, and increase your throttle so let's uh, just turn around here a little bit of rudder in the turn as well to make it comfortable a little bit more power there we go and we have a navigation point up there on our uh, compass up the top so so we'll do a slight a slight climb now the more you bring the nose down, the more you need to bring the throttle up, so let's uh, turn around here. We don't want to go too fast anyway, so we'll bring our helicopter around here. Oh, and this is uh, this is where you get a little bit of sensitivity issues with the uh, with the throttles and stuff like that. So I will eventually get this stuff sorted out. Okay, so I'm just going to bring the throttle down a little bit, bring the nose up. And uh, I've missed our waypoint there, so I shall uh, bring the cyclic down a bit. And we shall turn around. As you can see, a little bit of uh, the rudders are so sensitive. And the controllers are so sensitive. It uh, does tend to... Uh, let's bring the nose forward a little bit little bit of throttle and it has been a very very long time since I've flown a helicopter guys as well so it's a little bit more collective to get a little bit more lift and we shall move ourselves into this position here which is where they want us almost here we are almost here just a little bit more collective to try and level ourselves out a bit try and keep those uh, those gauges in the green there just move forward just a little got to hit this waypoint here guys okay so now we need to hit space to activate photo mode now uh, moving around our job here is to hello I didn't realize that there was somebody sitting in here with us our job here is to uh, oh no that's us <laughs> there you go is to take a photo of that now we need to move around to the next waypoint so let's uh, drop the nose just a little we will uh, move around here nice and slowly guys nice and slowly take our time especially while we're getting used to flying this thing so 
Okay, we'll see if we can slow down a little. Come around here, and we've got another photo point just over here, so... Which is just around here. There it is. Okay, now I'm not sure how we go with this one or whether we need to turn around. We might actually need to turn around. Or we can take a photo from there. Beautiful. Okay, so we have those photos. Let's do a little bit of... Uh, put a little bit more collective. Drop the nose a little bit. And uh, we shall head out. We shall head back over the top of this... Uh, what was it? A church or something? So it's a combination of um, it's a combination of throttle to keep enough throttle going, um, collective to uh, to keep your height, and uh, and dropping your nose to to uh, to gain your speed. So you need to find that balance. So what we're doing now is we are heading back to base. which is uh, just over here. It's just over to our right here, so. Just need to move up a little bit. Sensitivities, sensitivities, guys. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to slow our speed down, like so, try and get into a bit of a hover, and uh, bring our collective down a little bit to, uh, we'll try and maintain a little bit of a hover, and we will get some forward motion in a minute. Let's get a little bit of vertical speed down. Uh, not as professional as real helicopter pilots, but, uh, but hey. Alright, so it's going to get us to land on this right-hand side as far as far as I'm aware, so... Alright, let's get a little bit of forward momentum now. A little bit more collective. A little bit more collective. And a little bit of forward momentum to get ourselves down into the, uh, into the landing zone. There we go. Okay, we shall bring our collective down so that we uh, get a little bit of negative vertical speed. We don't want to be too f too fast when we get down to here. There we go. And the professionals make this look so easy, don't they? Let's uh, bring him in here. A little bit of... Uh, there we go. All right, lower the collective fully. And uh, we shall bring the uh, engine RPM down to 75. Yeah, having a little bit of sensitivity adjustment would help a lot in this, so. Bring him down. Almost at 75. There we go. And uh, collective friction to on. Cyclic friction to on. Cylinder temperature drop. So we will look for the cylinder temperature.
wait for him to all to uh, to start to drop in temperature and stuff. Throttle full down. Set the clutch to off. And wait 30 seconds. There you go. She's starting to wind down now. So. Waiting, waiting. Now one of the interesting things is until you uh, stop interacting with the controllers you can't open the door so and you can't interact with the controllers uh, until such time as the door is closed and locked. Okay mixture to off which will cut it off and that cuts the engine out, stars the engine of fuel, cuts it off We shall wait 30 seconds. So yeah, really nice modeling here, really high quality. Uh, I love the systems in it. We didn't put our we didn't put our belt on, which we should have put our belt on. Um, all right, rotor brake to on, which is up here. So we'll go to on. Um, set the governor to off, which is right there. Uh, magneto to off. We need to set the strobe. We will leave the strobe on until the um, until the uh, rotors stop rotating. So we shall turn uh, the avionics off. We shall turn the. We'll leave the alternator on until we've uh, until those blades have pretty well stopped. There we go. That should be okay. Uh, we will now turn the strobes off. Alternator. And we shall turn the battery off as well, and we shall set this to off on the magneto. Set to off, there you go. Uh, and set the uh, fuel valve, which is over there, to off as well. Now we shall release the controls. And uh, for that mission, for that job, we got, uh, that was a job, uh, we got $1,500 for going out and taking those photos, which adds to our kitty. All right, the other wonderful thing that you can do is uh, you can uh, grab those and you can move those around. Well, you're supposed to be able to move those around. Uh, the rotor brake is on. Um, so, so what you can do, let me just go in here and put this rotor brake back on, uh, back off. Uh, you can grab these now. If you wanted to store this in the shed, then what you would do is uh, you can move those blades around like that so that you can maneuver easily. Then stick your rotor brake back on and uh, close your door. There we go, guys. So that is it. That is uh, our first look at Helicopter Simulator. Um, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive considering that it's uh, it's developed by one single person. So, I mean, you know, the scenery leaves a lot to be desired. Um, there will be a lot more jobs and stuff coming in the future as well. Uh, we, do have, we do have other jobs to do, so... Um, so we will do one of those in the next episode and uh, one of the next objectives will be to um, to actually customize our helicopter there so there you go um, I hope you enjoyed this episode guys if you want to see more of helicopter simulator let me know uh, I thought we might also go back into an oldie but a relatively goodie which is uh, take on helicopters but uh, for this one, let me know what you think of this simulator. If you like this video, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the next episode of Helicopter Simulator. Thanks, guys.